my car's always produced a bit less power than it should do. So today I'm hopefully gonna solve that by fitting a three port boost solenoid. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and what difference it actually makes to the power and the boost on mine. Incidentally, I also did the cam belt last week and found that the intake cam was one tooth out on the cam belt from when the engine was built by a previous owner's garage. Be interesting to see whether that makes a difference power wise. So I'm gonna do obviously an, another baseline run with the two port on there, the standard two port boost solenoid with the now corrected cam belt timing and see what it makes power wise, see whether that brings back some of the horsepower that I think it should have had. Um, if it doesn't, then great. If it does, then fabulous. And we'll use that as a baseline for when I put the three port on there and tune for that. So test mule is obviously in the dyno again, again, again. Filthy dirty, but hey ho, it is what it is. It was clean last week. So it's strapped down exactly the same as I normally do. Four straps at the back, loud sense in the exhaust, and straps at the front to hold it steady. Big fan, which will make some noise in a bit. So I'll do a baseline with the current map with the two port just to see whether the cam time has made a difference. Okay, you know the drill. Gonna do a baseline, car's ready, it's warmed up, and um, yeah, find out what it's producing with the two port, and then I'll change that and show you what it produces with that. All right, well, new baseline, 321.6. So the cam timing being a tooth out on the VVT inlet made absolutely zero difference. So anyway, that's where we're at. And that's what I'm going to improve on with the three four, hopefully. Just to show you the boost that that was producing, 1.1 bar. I suspect that the BF41 that's on here as standard, they suffer from a prevalence to crack in the wastegate, um, around the wastegate penny, reduces the amount of boost that's possible. Plus the fact that the wastegate spring is getting old. So a three port will help solve that. So I'll explain what the two port does and how the three port differs and then um, fit that onto the car and see what it makes with that. So that's the three port that I've got to go on there. Got a nice little loom adapter to um, make it just a plug and play fit. So the standard two port boost solenoid uses a um, hose from the turbo that goes to a T piece. That hose has got a little restrictor pill in there goes to the T-piece and the other side of that goes to the actuator and then the hose goes to the two-port boost solenoid under here. So I'll be replacing that two-port with a three-port. So on this three-port, which is a Pierberg, um, the silver port here goes to the turbo, the one at 90 degrees goes to the wastegate and the one at the end either goes vents back into the inlet pipe or um, to atmosphere, doesn't matter. No restrictor pill needed on a three port. So what I'm gonna do is take out the existing pipe work. Also, this is a lot easier when the turbo isn't glowing hot after you've just done a run. Now, 
get some pipe. I won't need all of that pipe. <laughs> So it's in place, temporarily anyway, and two hoses down to the turbo and then the venting pipe that comes up down to the inlet manifold. Job done. At the moment, I haven't made any changes to the map um, because the uh, previous map, I set it as 1.3 bar. Hopefully with this, um, it will get to 1.3 bar. As you can see from the previous dyno run, it was only hitting 1.1. Um, that doesn't mean it's safe to run it like this. Obviously, I'm monitoring the fueling and listening for detonation, um, but because it will be going into areas of the map that just haven't been set up, haven't been mapped, um, so it, it needs mapping. But I'll, I'll give it a run, see what it's gonna do, and uh, we'll take it from there. Right, so the results, what did it make extra? It made more boost. You know, we got 1.25 bar of boost rather than 1.1. Mid-range torque, and a little bit more at the top end. Total of 327, so six horsepower from the three port. And that's fairly typical unless you've got a wastegate that's particularly weak and isn't working particularly well. So in which case the, the three port helps build up a bit more boost, build it quicker, help hold on to a bit more boost at the top end. So yeah, boost went up, power went up a little bit. Is it worth fitting one? Yeah, it gives you better boost control. Don't expect miracles though, it's not gonna give you huge amounts of extra power. You know, in my case on this car, made 327.9, so another six, seven horsepower, worth it.